Sí. ¿Sabes? Lucifer, snap your neck. Well, Cass, kind Cass of... is alive? <sighs> yeah, Cass, Cass is fine. Sam, are you okay? Actually, uh, I'm starving. Saturday Night Fever came on, the S-A-T-U-R-D-A-Y night, and he starts doing this dance move, and he tells the story, and I, I, on my life, he can't start doing the dance move until his lip is bit. So it'd be like, yeah, we were just kind of like, <laughs> with terrible, terrible rhythm. I mean, yeah, he can't even, he can't even try to do it off of him. And do it justice, it's so bad. Yeah. And then he tells a story about uh, at his, that is my favorite dance. At his wedding, he was doing it because he got drunk. And I guess his wife had to excuse herself because she was laughing so hard. She had to make a hasty retreat to the bathroom. But this is, this is a dance move that is impromptu all the time on set, simply because we work so intimately with our, our camera crew. I mean, they're right here with us all the time. So there it's, uh, there's a lot of dancing going on. Actually. Anything? Can you demonstrate anything? What's that? Can you demonstrate? Are you feeling okay? Me? I'll, I'll try and give you my version of the creature, which I don't know. If it's yeah. Okay. <laughs> It is much worse than that. We're actually doing it on an outtake. Yeah. It's like yeah, yeah, that's what you said. Okay. Yeah. I've seen it. It looks like it. Yeah. Thank you. It all Thanks comes for together. Thank you for being with us. something off today that made it home with me. Uh, my, my watch from last season, auction for charity, and a supernatural chair back. So if, if anybody uh, is interested in, in helping out a good cause. Um, I, another watch that I actually auctioned off last year was from season three. Mm -hmm. I have all my watches I've ever, I've ever played in any movie, TV show. I have all my watches. It's just something I've always done. Um, I also have something cool. What do you have? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anything, Jared. It's not supernatural professional number two. Okay? 
Um, what do I have? I don't know. I have something that I really like. So, here's my story. Uh, have a seat, have a seat. So, we're sitting there. Um, we have this big, big stunt where the Impala gets hit by a semi-truck. We're all sitting there. In the season one. In the season one. And so they do the big stunt. And I think it took so long to set up. I think we all went out to eat and like, and I don't know, like it's, it's now three o'clock in the morning or something. And we're sitting there just with a shot of me in the driver's seat. Um, Jeff here? Are you back there? Yeah. You back there? Yeah, you're back there. Jeff's right here. Um, and we're sitting there and I'm just kind of waiting. And I look in front of me and the old school cars, a little honker, uh -huh. and it looks like a, it looks like an Apollo. It's a little decal. Yeah. And so I'm sitting there in a the car, and I'm like, this car's got to an accident. Guess the decal come on. <laughs> At this point, I'm waiting to know if you're coming back. Here's my excuses. I was passionate about the show. I wanted a memento. We didn't get picked up, and I was like, you know what? Decals fall off in accidents, and I don't know if we're coming back. So. <laughs> So I have the decal. It was the horn. It was the horn button. The horn is the honker. Yeah. It was like the center. It was the center cap of the steering wheel. The honker. <laughs> and the whole story the big honker. center cap. And he just was like. <laughs> and just turned around to me and goes. <laughs> I don't know. I still have it. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, you know, we, we, we borrow clothes and stuff sometimes. Cause it's borrow. <laughs> I've been known to bring them back sometimes. Let's get washed. Let's get washed. But I mean, you think about it, like, I don't want to go shopping. And there's an entire department that shops for a guy who's the same size as me. And there's an entire semi truck with clothes that all fit me. Why the hell would I go pay money in a department store? <laughs> But I tried to anyway. <laughs> there you go. Now we're at our rest. So uh, the weirdest thing that's happened on set. I, I can't. I can't. I, I can say this. Lily Jensen popped a water bottle and it flew up, hit the rafter, bounced off a bounce, and into the trash can. I thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> it's one of those things where you're like. You couldn't do that if you felt the rest of your life. You couldn't do that again. And like went and bounced and bounced. Remember? It was outside the mechanic room. I do. We were all, everybody who saw it was like, Whoa! <laughs> As if it's some major accomplishment. But, uh, <laughs> oh, one time we were having a, we were having a throwing candy war in the Aaron Mega trailer. Uh, <laughs> and Jensen was on one side and I was on the other side. And then, if you're in the trailer, then there's a wall of mirrors, and there's a mirror there, and there's a mirror back there. And I happen to be, like, we're throwing stuff, and, you know, and he's throwing something back. And I happen to look this way, and so I can see him way over there throwing something at me. And I went like this. <laughs> <laughs> Sound effect and everything. <laughs> it was a piece of candy, so I was like. <laughs> I caught it. That was one of those. And we're talking, you know, almost the, almost the length of the stage. Wow. And I, I tanked it too. He, he, he had his head turned and I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> and just like this. <laughs> and I remember I just looked at him and I was like, You're stupid. <laughs> and I had candy so I didn't care. I was like, I'll love you back. Like, this is why I don't have nice things.
And how many of one hand is going up? People were like, yeah, one second. Well, 
the idea. I, I, I don't usually send emails to you guys like, you know, hey, we're going to be good. And I was like, can you please make the Misha character a total douchebag? <laughs> And I then I had another volley. No, you're not a douchebag. Honestly, in the end, was sort of a watered down douchebag. <laughs> what they don't know, though, what they're not saying to him is that he sent them an email, but it's not their real email address. <laughs> <laughs> so they just try to make it as real as possible. <laughs> well, the one who responded, you know, was basically saying, you know, no. And, uh, <laughs> no. So I, I tried to douchebag it up as much as possible. <laughs> 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 Sam and he's disturbed enough. <laughs> but I did have a fun time kind of playing with, I guess, what the writers have been playing with, which what is a soul? Where does it reside? What is it, what's its influence on, on your personality and your decisions? Um, so I had a great time. I'm, I'm happy to be back, but I do, I do miss the little guy. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to read this question um, just because it's the best phrasing ever. Um, you know, and we talked a little bit about this backstage, but for the fans, um, Jensen, do you think that Dean is finally getting back to his usual self now that Sam is all soulful Care Bear again? <laughs> uh, Mr. Care Bear? <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, I do. And it, it, it was um, kind of a relief for me because for the first half of the season, uh, it was uh, it was difficult, uh, you know, to to build a relationship uh, with not only the actor but with a character um, for five years, and then to have that that relationship severed, but then still have to work with that person was very difficult uh, for me as an actor. To I mean, and it's a testament to, to to what Jared was doing. I thought he was doing great as as Sola Sam, but he wasn't he wasn't playing the character that I'm used to working with. So. It was really, I, I struggled with it. In fact, I called down and talked to these guys about it. And I'm like, ah, I'm, I'm kind of feeling way out of my comfort zone here. And I don't know what's going on. And I just didn't have those tools to use anymore that I had for the, for the past five years. So uh, I, was, I was very relieved when, when I read that episode and he was getting a soul back. Because then I could go back to playing Dean the way that I'm normally playing Dean. And it was, um, it was just, it, it was difficult. But, you know, it was a good story. So in the, in the first episode that Castiel shows up in... Um, the, he's trying to communicate with Dean, and in so doing, his voice, his angelic voice, is exploding television sets and, and breaking windows. And so I, consummate guest star that I am, thought, uh, <laughs> oh, you know, I'm going to do this really deep, gravelly. 
kick-ass kind of window-breaking voice. <laughs> and I, I may be running into medical problems now. <laughs> I, I mean, it has been brutal on my throat. So yeah, regret a little bit. <laughs> You know, what would be nice is if somehow Castiel, like, has a tank of helium with him, and, he, <laughs> and then he just talks like I do normally, you know? I think you should talk like Some way to justify Castiel it. from French Mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Hello! <laughs> I remember when we filmed that scene, too, and he, he, he came in, and this was the first time I uh, worked with him, and, and he, he went into this voice and this spiel, and after the first take, I turned to the, the, <clears throat> our camera department, and I just went, what is he doing? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> did he audition? <laughs> uh, he said, he knows that, I've told him that, and I continue to tell him that all the time. So. He said the same thing to me, because I didn't have a scene with him. And I was like, hey, how's the new guy? He's like, really nice. He's, yeah, he's, what the hell is he doing on camera? <laughs> he's strange. Like, he, it was ever bad, because he's not a bad actor, obviously. He's like, he's, He's, you know, he's, he's really strange. <laughs> and so we'd walk past him, and he's like, I think he's in character. Look, look. <laughs> so, and were you? Were you? Because <laughs> I remember specifically one moment, he was sitting in the back of a grip truck eating something. Must have been yogurt or granola or something. <laughs> but he, we walked past, and Jensen kind of gives me this, because we're going from, like, stage three to our trailers. And he's like, there he is. We kind of looked, and we both sort of did like... Look, there's the freak. <laughs> and I was like, but Misha has a very pensive look about him if he's just relaxing. So I was like, yeah, yeah, looks like he's thinking or something. <laughs> and, and or on the toilet. Which yeah. is, or both. But, it, it, but I, w I will say that, that his consistency in that character has been... Uh, his saving grace. Has been, it, it has. <laughs> It's, wow. it's really, it's really grown on me. An Andy Warhol painting. What can you tell us about, what can we expect from Sam for the rest of the season? Uh, well, obviously Sam, though he has a soul back, he hasn't necessarily dealt with or atoned for what he did while he was soulless and while he was in hell. So, I mean, I know we kind of touched on it in uh, Unforgiven, but we just saw a little bit. I mean, he was soulless for a year, and so that was just a little blink. That was one job in the whole year. And so I know that as Supernatural loves to do, they got to mess things up and then have us go atone for it. And so. Um, I have a lot of uh, a lot of torture coming up, um, a lot of self torture, and, and Sam might have to re-encounter who he was as a soldier. Well, I can person. just join this conversation. So, Come on okay, in. I'm just going to join. And, this and he can answer the rest of mine. So uh, <laughs> no, I'm joining. I'm joining. You. Are you? I'm just okay, joining. Sweet. All right, can I talk to you? Okay, then. Sure, sure. How does it go? Stop so doing just a couple more questions and two questions here, and, and then, then she's taking you. Taking you. Okay, okay, keep going, and I'll just I'll, I'll just Stop say if he's lying or not. Did you yes. Plan your outfits to match. No. <laughs> yes. Damn. <laughs> No, I, you know, we we do a lot of, like, stuff, obviously, together, because we're the two leads of the show, and right. I'm like, hey, dude, what are you wearing? And he's like, I don't know, what are you wearing? I'm like, I think I'm going to go with suit, because we were the suit last time, and he's like, all right, let's suit up. I think it would that be, was, I think that be, was the extent of the conversation. I think it would be more mean if, if I, like, came in a formal tux, and he, like, yeah, I'm just in a t-shirt and jeans. Yeah, and jeans and a t-shirt. he shows up in, like, no a American Eagle shirt. And <laughs> so we just want to make sure to be... So yeah, properly, so at least properly like, right. respected to respected. Sorry. Is there anything about the evolution of Supernatural that's really surprised you over the six years as far as directions your characters Direct. have gone? <laughs> directions. That was surprising. Whoa. Are you talking about Kripke now? <laughs> uh, yes. Go ahead, man. Yes, I think, uh, I mean, I think no one would have uh, thought six years ago if you said that this is the show that we'd be doing today. That, that we'd that be standing be, here talking about yeah. the show still. Yeah. I mean, I remember, yeah, A, that we'd be here this long. And, and, a and two, um, you know, I remember we did an episode <laughs> called Angels five. or House of the Holy or Touched. It had like 15 different names. So it was either Angels, House of the Holy, or Touched. Um, but it was the first episode that Supernatural ever had to do with angels. And it was, did an angel save me? Remember, Sean was in it. Mm -hmm. And we called, and Kim Manners was directing it. Mm -hmm. And we were like, hey, like we kind of set up to sell ghost stories. Are we, we're not turning into like a religious show for the writers to give their religious beliefs through Sam and Dean's voice, are we? We're like, no, no, we're just dancing around this idea. Like, what if... They are real. Like, hey, we don't just talk about death is watching. Like, 
here, meet death. We don't talk about like, hey, watch out, you can't avoid fate, meet fate. Um, and so they're like, we're just talking about this idea, and now we have an angel in our show. But I remember when we very first read that episode, we were both like, what, are we turning like this into like a, a religious show now? Yeah, Is this we, like touched by an angel? But yeah, <laughs> which, yeah, which we didn't think it would be. And so um, I think that's probably the biggest one for me. Yeah, but I mean, they just, you know, they kept this big kind of fictitious story, and they, they, they was like, listen, this is this is our story, and, and this is this is where we're going, and this is the, the road we're heading down, and I think let's just go with it. People are responding to it. And, yeah. I mean, I know I know Kripke had a, had a, you know, he had a big five-year plan, and I'd like to think that he's, he, he has that uh, big of a mastermind, but I, I, I don't know. I think he's full of shit most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'd probably tell you he's full of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think what's wonderful is that even though our show has changed so much, I mean, the to pat ourselves on the back and thank y'all guys once again is that y'all have stuck with these two brothers because it's essentially been about Sam and Dean's journey through uh, A, the supernatural and zombies and Wendigos and ghosts and hookmen to now angels to now hell. I mean, we've been hell. to hell. I've been to hell and we've been to heaven and we've been all over the place and y'all... Yeah, we've died dozens of times. Yeah. <laughs> at least. <laughs> right, I think, you know, I would say the storylines are that, what more stand out. That, that we all feel that we can't get out of. Um, and maybe if we don't win season uh, seven, maybe he won't get out of I would say like the end of season two when Sam definitely Kill, what he had done. And, the law wasn't you know, just how, how and horrible one of the that was. That's about supernatural that, is they don't just tease that's something that really stands seasons. out. Sammy. Come on, snap out of it. Anything? I can't just sit here, Bobby. I've got to help him. Dean. I mean, Dreamscape is noggin something. You know what Cass did? The dam inside your brother's head is gone. And all hell's spilling loose. We don't know what's going on inside. I don't care. We've got to do something. And we will. But right now, we got 16 hours till they pop purgatory. I'm down one man. I can't afford to be down two. Yeah, and how's that going, huh? We've got no light on Crowley. We've got no light on Cass. Baltazar's MIA. I mean, all we've got is Sam going through whatever the hell this is. You know, this is exactly what Cass wants, for you to fall to pieces. Just trying to think of what Sam would want. Find Cass, Bobby. Find him now. You smell whiskey? <laughs> so this um, is going with a little white striped guy, this one Jensen, and uh, oh, wow. there was a question. Uh, there was a question that, that really puzzled me. Should have been a better question. Let's see. Wow, well, hello. Hey, so, uh, have you, uh, you been to Italy before? Si, sí, senor. Si, si, si. Senor. And, uh, I, I, apparently you're from, uh, was it Mexico? I'm going to the beach. Si, senor. Si. So you're really, uh, you're kind of a blend of uh, Italian and Mexican. Is that, is that, is that? Oui, oui, monsieur. Stripes are lovely, and uh, are you enjoying your time here? Gracias, si, senor. Si, senor. Okay. Adios. Okay, uh, so now I'm supposed to, to toss this out, give it out? Yeah, toss, or if there was a really good question. Oh, the next, oh, what do I do with this? Next time. All right. Well then. What about this one? All right. Well, so this is. Uh, I think we should. I think we should name them. All right. This would be giraffe. <laughs> Long neck. Okay. This one is Bartholomew. <laughs> I will wish, but you can call him Bart. <laughs> this would be uh, Francesco. 
<laughs> so that obviously, you know, have great meaning to me. Bonnie Tyler Toto Clips the Heart? Yes. <laughs> um, like, aha by yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but uh, it, it, it's, I, you know, it's like one of those things where I wouldn't want to mess that up. The only and thing I don't I, write my own music, so it's kind of like, you know, I, I can do kind of covers and things on the guitar, and things that just kind of make me, you know, happy, but I would never want to, like, go, I'm going to cover somebody and try to outdo them or do anything like that. So. What he sings the most odd is Born This Way by Lady Gaga. <laughs> no, 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 that's not true. Not since uh, Katy Perry's Supernatural came out. <laughs> Whatever the hell that song's called. What's it called? Yeah, I'm glad I don't know that. <laughs> I heard that song once in the gym the other day, and it's like, is she singing about Supernatural? <laughs> well, thank, um, you. thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, I, I, I wish I had an answer for you, but again, I, you know, I'm not a musician. I'm an actor. That's fine. I'd rather, I'd ra I'd rather play roles. Yeah, you should sing. Okay, well, I do, in the shower. <laughs> More this way. Thank you. Thanks. I know we had so many newbies. It was nice to hear your input and meet you guys. And thanks, y'all. Okay, I need copies of that, please. Everybody, see me after. I'll give you his email. Just flash it on the screen. Uh, all right. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's been awesome. It's been a good weekend. Uh, how many of you are going to see us next weekend? Woo! Yeah, so you're going to see the episode. So three of you. Good. Yeah. I heard some moves. I'm sure we'll move a lot faster. Four or five. That's two hands. Do I hear two? I hear three. I hear two hands. It's I hear two. Two is not an auction. Two or two is not an auction. It's an auction. It's not an auction. They only have two hands. Germany going once, going twice. I saw it right. halfway through and I was like, I see one hand. I see two. I see, I see two. I see, I see anybody going to show me three? No one's going to show me three. Three, uh, T2, still. Well, for those, who, uh, for those of you that are, we're not going to see next weekend, uh, we just want to say thank you. Yeah. It's been a great weekend. It was nice to, to see and talk to you, and I know it wasn't a whole lot of time, but maybe in the future we spend a little more time together. And uh, anyway, you guys are great. And without you, we would not be here. So thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Oh, oh what did I catch us? Oh, the you were like right there. Long hair. James Bond. Uh, I don't know. I think I, I'll describe, I don't, it's hard to describe yourself because you're biased, you know? But I'll describe who I want to be. I want to be um, generous. Um, yes! I don't want to be short, but I want to be generous.
And Sam says something to the effect of, um, like, just, I just want you to be my brother. And it kind of made me sad for whatever reason. I love my brother in real life. Uh, but I think, oh, there's another one. What was it? Crow is home for me. For some reason, it really, it really hit me hard. And Bob had to bring me down because it hit me really hard. But I'm saying, I'm, I'm done. I'm dead. Leave me. I'm, I'm going to die. And I felt sad. Uh, but I think the thing about Supernatural is that the reason there aren't a lot of Sam and me both breaking down is because that's the whole deal. That's the, yeah, we're, we're brothers, and when he goes down, I go up. You know, when I break down, he picks me up. When he breaks down, I pick him up. And so that's kind of what has made Supernatural what it is. In my opinion, to me, it's about these guys who will fight for each other. And even if I'm sad, even if Sam is sad, if Dean's more sad, then Sam can put it to the side and lift him up, and the same thing, vice versa. <laughs> Big, so, uh, big all. Uh, so I, I just told Jensen something. Um, to his response, what was your response? Seriously? <laughs> so in form of Jeopardy, the question was, I guess it wasn't a question, it was his was a question, and my response before that was, hey man, I started a Twitter this morning. <laughs> so, so to clarify, I was like, actually my reaction was a little more like that, but it was terror. <laughs> So I didn't know what to do, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and, and make the jump. And we were with my buddies, uh, Brian Buckley, and this guy last night. And I was like, you know what, it might be something to go ahead and start learning how to communicate. And so I go, and Jen's like, well, I know how to do it, I'll help you do it. And so we're in the room. But I'm like, well, let's do Jared, how to like you? And she's like, uh, it's taken. <laughs> what? Wait, how? How many Jared so was Jared Padalecki, so was Jared Pad, so was any other combination you could so possibly make. I found one. Jar Pad. It's mine. <laughs> so, so it's a clear. Everybody just went to their phone. <laughs> and I also didn't realize because I had it. What is it? Wait, tweet something right now. Alright. I'm gonna have This is the, the, the gayest thing that I've ever been about. <laughs> Second, but I don't mean happy. <laughs> this, uh, so you want me to... This is a Jerry Springer show? <laughs> Who's oh, no. which, which one do I go to? The person? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to help you with that. <laughs> I'm, it's not that I'm anti-Twitter. I, I just... I don't get it, man. I, don't I, feel like it's, I feel like it's a reality television show. It's like annoying, but it's not going away. I, yeah, it, so it's, it's I, I don't know. He, now that he's a part of it, he, he might now try to like put the pressure on me, but I'm, I'm not like, promising I'm gonna anything. put the elbow. <laughs> I, I'm 11 hours, I'm a newbie. I'm 10 hours into it. Literally, I started it, went to sleep, um, and then I woke up this morning, and I, my email box had, because I forgot to not. And you're like, hmm, I used Aquafresh this morning. <laughs> I'm using Aquafresh right now. I don't know how to, I don't know where to tweet, actually. Oh, good, we're safe. Yeah, I'll have the bigger, better news. Search mentions? Oh, here, maybe. Who knows how to Twitter? No, I mean, I mean really well. I just did it, I did it. Watch. Watch. We get one person right here. I'm gonna call her up here and have you help. I think it happened, I think it. Yeah. I, t I tweeted something on, right now. Come on, come on. Make, make sure you just like fire his agent. Is that the one? <laughs> yeah, he also has a broken screen. It <laughs> jumped on the ground. It jumped on the ground. Because yeah, it's great. As soon as he joined Twitter, his screen just cracked. <laughs> it quit. It went like fine. It's utter refusal. It did? <laughs> Please help me tweet something right now. So while he's in Vancouver prepping for his directorial debut, I'm gonna drive over to his house and jump his fence and call him from his pool and be like, hey, I'm at your house in your pool. <laughs> How's work? No, no, what he's gonna do, he's gonna tweet. <laughs> I'm in Jensen's house right now. Yeah. <laughs> Drinking his booze. Tweet a picture of like in my, in, in my raft, in my pool. <laughs> Just don't treat, tweet a picture of your package because we know where that gets you. <laughs> Unless you run for Congress. You mean you yes, Then all day, buddy, right there, right there. Yeah.
And it reminded me of my favorite question that wasn't asked of me. But, um, but my friend was asked, um, she, she said, I, mean, I know somebody on the show. And they go, wait, is it the short one or the one from Seventh Heaven? <laughs> Neither. Well, I guess the one from Seventh Heaven, but, not, but those ones aren't short. I don't know. I have a little egg as my face. It's kind of egg? Yeah. Like I get a, to choose. Like a chicken egg? I guess so. It's kind of, it's kind of incongruous. What? I don't know. I thought it might be nice to have a little egg. It's well thought out. <laughs> and a special throw. The why, don't you, why don't you take a picture of me and put that as your... Flash, because then it'll just be flash. So, camera's down. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As soon as I figure out how to do a picture, as soon as I figure out how to do this. J R P A D. So Jensen Ackles is taken. That's too bad, because I would really love to do it. <laughs> is the protectiveness that the brothers show each other. So I was wondering that if, as Jared and Jensen, you've had any moments where you felt or displayed a protective attitude toward one another. One time he tried to eat some of my fries. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, you guys have a little bit. Yeah, season one we got jumped by like eight guys. Yeah, that was the one I specifically heard about. So. Yeah. Could you elaborate a little more? <laughs> well, we're still here, so we can do it. <laughs> they didn't see us stand up. They were like, that's that Seventh Heaven guy and that short guy. Let's get him. And they were like, we're from the South, boys. Bring him. Um, but yeah, I mean, that was. Specific to that years ago. There, I, yeah, there's absolutely been times when he and I have had to stand up for each other in real life. Um, I mean, we do so much, like even like here this weekend, you know, we'll be hanging out this weekend. And, you know, there's absolutely been times where it's like, hey, 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 what's going on? You know, um, we fly home constantly. I, I remember one, one time this guy was just got on the plane and he and I were already in our seats and he just was acting like a total. Jackass, and, and Jared immediately just like stood up, grabbed his bag, threw it in the overhead compartment, and I was like, "Oh, I need to. I don't really need to." <laughs> I need to see this. But I mean, there's there's a definite sense of I got your back, and there has been since day one. So. Wristbone of Saint and Holy Reliquary, museum quality from diocese in Oaxaca. Looks legit. All right. Auction houses in Mexico City, we could be there day after tomorrow. We, uh, case it, yank it, be back here by the end of the week. Or we could just buy it. What? Dude, that thing's over a hundred that. <laughs> Hello, Jared Badalecki. <laughs> Cubrir a su amigo en la aduana? No. Bueno. Triple rush. No problemo, because money is no... This baby's maxed. Wow. They said it should be at the airport first thing in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> money, man. There is nothing like it. All right, couch, TV star, beauty rest.